A few weeks ago I made a video about how to make uh, abstract shapes in, in a program uh, called Chaoscope and I said that I will make another video uh, showing you how to make uh, brushes out of this uh, out of those shapes and well this is uh, the video I was talking about um, it's really easy I will show you how to make uh, how to turn those um, shapes into brushes and I will also show you how you can make uh, an entire uh, new um, pack of brushes so the first thing I want to show you is the program again so this is the, pro the chaos cop interface is really easy and you go to the file new uh, let's choose any of the attractor types I'll choose unravel and I'll choose light I'll leave this uh, dimensions uh, as they are press F3 to make a random um, shape here and let's say I want to make um, a shape of this I would render it and uh, here you have uh, all the uh, settings you can uh, you can choose to make your shapes and you can uh, also choose um, the gradients here if you press um, I don't think it was control control R to change the gradients uh, random gradient to generate uh, random gradients like this and then once you render the file you save it as a JPEG and the great thing about this program is that uh, it renders all the shapes uh, on back on black background which is really useful if you want to make uh, brushes out of uh, these shapes so as I said you render the file save it and you will get something like this I have a few uh, renders here and I'll open this with Photoshop the only thing that you have to be careful with is you have to make sure that the image is uh, not bigger than 2500 pixels because that's the maximum brush uh, dimension so as you can see this one is really big so what I'll have to do first is make it smaller so select uh, the the width or the height depending on which one you have higher you just type uh, 12, uh, 2500 pixels click OK to make it smaller and all you have to do uh, now is invert this image because we want the, back, the all this black area to be white and you can do that by pressing Control and I and that way everything that is um, that is um, darker than white will be our brush and you can leave it as it is with these colors because they will automatically be turned into uh, black and white so if you go to edit define brush preset you'll see the preview here but sometimes uh, the problem with this is that the brush is really low opacity so usually what I do is press Control L to load the levels and just uh, move the midtones or the shadows one of these two sliders to the left to make it darker like that and as I said the colors um, don't really have to care about the colors you can press Control Shift and U to desaturate if you want so this will be our brush and all I have to do now is go to edit define brush preset and save it but as I said I, I want to show you how you can make um, a new, pa new pack from scratch so the first thing you have to do is select the brush tool right click and select reset brushes and click OK I had the brush, uh, brush there that I didn't save but anyway and I'm using Photoshop CS5 but uh, this should be the same in all Photoshop versions I have a few uh, brushes here that come with uh, Photoshop uh, CS5 one advice that I would give you is to always leave a, a, so a soft brush like this one and I'll tell you uh, why in a second and first you have to open the brushes uh, the preset manager so click this icon and click preset manager and it opens this window and make sure that the preset type is set to brushes you can choose other uh, uh, preset types click on the first uh, brush press the shift key and click the last one and click on delete the reason why I always leave this brush here is because if you're working on a design and use one of the brushes that you will make uh, next um, maybe you want to mask something and you need a brush that you can uh, uh, that you can edit the dimensions and the hardness and this is the only these are the only brushes uh, that allow you to do that the brushes that you make yourself from shapes and things like that you cannot modify the hardness and that's why uh, it's good to have that here so leave one of the brushes here and click done 
and now if you right click again you will see the preset here uh, the this window is empty we only have that brush and now you can go to edit define brush preset and um, type your brush name so another advice that I would give you is when you save your brushes to always give them a name and let's uh, type one for this one and always uh, add some uh, your name or your website address because most people don't give credit and uh, when they download the brushes uh, I'll show you that in a second when you hover the mouse over the brush uh, it pops up the name and that way you give your uh, your crediting yourself because as I said many people don't give you uh, give you credit so let's type uh, actually don't type double use let's wait let's put psdbox.com and click OK and now you can see the brush is uh, done and if I hover the mouse here you can see the name and the the address of my website and also some people have the brushes um, uh, in a list and that way you have the your credit here so uh, people will know uh, who made the brushes originally because of course you can edit them but most people don't do that so you will always have your uh, your credit there so that's how you make brushes out of uh, this uh, of these shapes just continue doing that and when, uh, when you have enough of them just click this icon, save brushes, or you can place them on your desktop, give them a name, set, and save them. And that's all. So I hope you liked uh, this quick tutorial. See you next time.